Maybe, maybe it'll, as you say, if California's at the forefront, or has been in the past, maybe others will follow the duct tape example. They always had the neurological exam before anyone else. That's a knockdown. A, a fierce body shot. He's taking a few of those. And he's having a hard time getting his breath. And that's it. A knockout on a body shot in the fourth round for Miguel Cotto. In his last fight, fighting at his home in Puerto Rico, Goto, and there's a terrific left hook by Miguel. Fighters don't have as difficult an adjustment from the amateur to the pro style as some other fighters do. No, because they're trained like the best start of fight. Oh, what a great combination by Miguel Goto. Left hook to the body, right cross upstairs. He does it again, and Bailey goes down. And Bailey nods as, as, as if in approval. Hey. of his opponent's skill. Ready, come here. You all right? This is a great round by Go. Miguel Cotto. That's what happened when you get caught looking for one shot and your opponent is putting punches together. Cotto was putting punches together then while Bailey was looking for one big right hand. Another oh, good, punch shot. combination. The left hook to the body almost put Bailey down. It lifted his leg all the way off the canvas. And now he goes to a knee Acknowledging that that's more Four. punishment than you can take. Bobby Box tells us right now that Bailey hasn't landed a punch since the second knockdown. That means he has not landed a punch in this round. There. Maybe that glove connected, but in the meantime, Cotto lands one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots. If this keeps up sometime soon, he wouldn't be blamed for looking for a soft spot on the canvas. Those well, body shots continue, he's going to find a soft spot on the canvas. No one would blame him. He's taken a vicious beating in there. He's pounding away. Yeah. Oh, what a body shot. Mandalay Bay has become a bucket of blood tonight. Another vicious body shot to the left side of Bailey's body. That's just dedicated in there on his All right. And that'll do it. Fight is stopped as Randall Bailey agrees with the doctor that this will be enough, and Miguel Cotto has another sixth round technical knockout victory in another spectacularly dominant performance. Any thought maybe would be the end of his career before he even really got off the ground. There. Torres also won, so he has had obstacles to overcome. This is something of an opportunity. Yep, and let's not forget the vulnerabilities that Cotto has shown us.
with the right hand, which he might, but you'd rather have him try to do that than with the left hook. And Jennings gets in yet another one. Oh, and a left hook. Jennings is in trouble. And it's the hook to the body that puts him down finally here in the fourth round. He hurt him with the left upstairs, but it was the hook to the body that finally buckled his knees.
this assault. Arthur McKinney watching Copeland do the go to a knee. I think that was a good, good call on Zach Wall. It was a good call, not any one punch, it's just too much. He needs a break, but it's over with. Very early in the fight. Yeah, he was exactly what's reading my mind. It's just what I was thinking about. He's been so cool amid all of the pain that he's going through. He's never changed his expression. Down on the right hand. After the knockdown in the night, Shooter landed two big shots. He doesn't run anymore, or so it appears. And Arthur McKenna stops the fight. Jeff Judah says he is a brand name. Cotto is branding his name. Except that left hook. I mean, we see the left hook, we're talking about the left hooks. Let's talk about the way he moves. I mean, he's using that ring beautifully. Circles to the left, doesn't go back to the right too often, but he circles to the left, sets it up, then he moves inside, and bam, he throws that left hook. Really using the ring nicely. There it is. Down goes Gio on a solid left hand shot. Low to the body like he's doing right now and came back up to the head with a good left foot. Good body shot. Referee yeah, hard to stop it, man. Watching him gently, and now Gio tries to fight his way out of it and goes down for a second time. Hey, you okay? And for the second year in a row, Daniel Gio tells a New York referee he's had enough in the ring. And Miguel Cotto has a fourth round knockout victory. Return of the funky man. I'm hip to the game. I always be the same.